Yeah. Sebastian had a, a condition we call transposition of the great arteries and uh, the abnormality um, consists of um, inverted great arteries. If a baby doesn't have any, com any holes between the two sides, so the right and the left heart, uh, the child will be deeply blue and uh, eventually will die uh, from this condition uh, it, unless uh, we are able to create a hole after birth uh, rapidly. And even then, in the optimal situation, you might not have enough time to be successful. So this was, would have been a high risk delivery and a high risk management of this baby uh, right at birth. Initially, it was the questions of why us? Why our baby? What did I do wrong? Is it something I could have prevented? Hearing what we had to go through to get to get him here safely and you know the best way possible was uh, it's pretty intense hearing something like that that they're gonna do it while he's still inside of her. So what we had to do in this situation was to do a procedure before birth to try and open up the the septum between the two atria. So initially we pass a needle in on, under ultrasound guidance we will pass a fine needle in to through the mum's tummy into the uterus, uh, into the baby's chest and into the baby's heart. We will pass it through the, the wall between the two atria and then over that or through that needle we pass a little catheter which carries a balloon. We will withdraw the needle out of the chamber and then we will blow up the balloon which makes a hole in the atrium, in the wall between the two chambers. And this allows the mixing of the blood. And then that takes away most of the urgency from the baby's point of view after birth. Hi, booby. Boop, 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 boop. What's that doing? Do, 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 do. I think the actual surgery took about 15 or 20 minutes mm -hmm. once we had everything set up. And to our best of our knowledge, this is the first time that this has been done um, in the world. What transpired after the surgery was that the, that labour was induced a few days later and mum had a very straightforward normal labour. So it was a really dramatic transformation. He's a pretty calm, pretty chill baby. Um, he lets us know when he's not happy, which is really good. He's really good at doing that, still has that very strong set of lungs that he was born with. You barely even know that anything had happened to him unless you take off his shirt and see his scars. Like, there's nothing... To me, other than when we have to give him his medicine, there's nothing that differentiates him from any other baby. Mm -hmm.